moving back to uh, shooting, right? You were pretty sure that Abhinav was going to get at least get some medal, and it looked for a moment that he was he had a ch shot at silver. What do you think went wrong this time? No, nothing went wrong. I mean, but that's that's what sport is all about. But um, you know, this is a man unlike any other Indian sports person who believes in a process, who believes in a system. And he's, he has adopted a process, a system where he goes deep in to find himself and to find that elusive medal that he gave us in 2008, a gold. I thought this was, I've seen him in London when he lost. And there was a shout from the crowd, Bindra, and, I, and you could see him tense. Later on, he actually spoke about it. And after the whole thing was over, Narang had qualified, I remember. This guy just went away and sat in the bus alone. That was the same bus I was taking it back, back to the track and field. I wanted to watch some track and field. I didn't speak to Bindra because he was alone in the bus in a corner. But this is a guy who processes all everything in his mind, everything in his brain, like most shooters do. Yeah. I just thought that this was his last Olympics and I, and I genuinely felt that he's going to go all out. I genuinely felt he's going to get that medal. It looked for a moment that he would, but I think something went wrong. In 2004, if I remember correctly, he mentioned or he spoke to you later that there was perhaps something wrong with the tile. Yeah, there was there was a floor tile and, and, and that moved when he was about to shoot. And that really cost Do you him. think Abhinav is a perfectionist and he requires everything to be just about? Yeah, that's that's perfect. that's also because uh, as we were speaking, he, he was in Rio for the test event. Right. And he took pictures of the entire range and he sent those pictures back to his mother. And his mother created an entire range in Chandigarh which looked like Rio. So just look at the process this guy goes and just look at the system. Do you think there's something wrong with uh, the fact that perhaps our best, greatest sportsman is somebody who's, whose family has really helped him rather than, shall we say, the government? A lot of people, Mohit, a lot of people have said that he's rich, he's got a lot of money. There are a lot of rich people in this country. Bindra is probably one of only, only guy who with all that money has won a gold. You give me one example of one rich guy in this country winning a gold. None of them. Because this guy trains for it. He lives it, he dreams it, he dies with it. None of these sports persons are willing to go through the entire procedure that he goes through. Fine, there is money at the end of it. But you still need to work that 22 hours off. You still need to work and get that medal. I think the saddest part, apart, apart from the 2-1 defeat with Germany, was, was not having Bindra walk off with a medal in his last Olympics. I think that's, that's extreme sadness. I'm still happy because Bindra has won gold in the past. And this time he placed fourth, which, if you remember, is something that great Indian sportsmen like Milka Singh and P.T. Usha also managed, right? So, here's to hoping for a great life and career ahead for him.